Hello, my name is Kevin Brewer. I'm the IT tutor here at Legat College. Um, if you've watched um, some other videos, um, you'll be aware that um, this video is to support and help you in learning spreadsheets. So, in this video, we're looking at particularly formulas, um, how to enter the formula, um, and how to use formulas to make it a lot easier, how to use the sort and filter function um, within. Um, a spreadsheet to easily identify and sort data, whether it be from highest to lowest, or even just to uh, only show certain types of data. And finally, showing you how to use conditional formatting function. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is one spreadsheet that I've used before. Um, in a video on here, and as you can see, we've already um, sorted and uh, made sure that the data is clear and the correct currency, as for example, is shown appropriately. So, as I said, the first uh, thing we're going to be looking at is how to enter a formula. Now, obviously, the whole point of this is to make it a lot easier rather than having to individually do these and add them up or multiply them or divide them however it needs to be done um, that you can just create one formula and copy that formula throughout the whole of the spreadsheet um, and to make it basically a lot simpler and quicker so what I'm going to show you is the formula for this a very basic formula which is just a, a taking away formula okay so it's taking one number from another all right. So in this, as you can see, you've got a profit and loss column here that obviously is at the moment is empty. So for this question, what we're wanting to work out is what the profit and loss is, um, looking at the income and the running cost of each of these rides. Okay. So the way you do it is with any formula, like I say all the time, you have to start with an equals. Okay. This is basically telling the computer that you are starting calculation, um, so get ready basically. All right, so we start with an equals, and what we want to do is we want to work out the profit and loss by starting with the income and then taking away the running costs. So that will give us a profit and loss either either way. All right, so as you can see, the equals, and then instead of actually typing in 2100, you can just click on it okay now this puts in the cell number as you can see b2 and it highlights it as you can see in blue okay which is also apparent from it being blue in the text okay now we like i said we want to um, use the takeaway function here so we put the takeaway sign okay and then finally we put click on the running costs and again, you can see in this instance, it's turned it red for the text to identify the difference between the cells and to identify where you've selected the data from. Okay, so once you've done that and you're happy that you've selected the cells that you wanted, to finish the formula and to make it do the calculation, you just hit the enter button. As you can see. So it's actually done the calculation for you and also because you've already put the currency in it's automatically put the pound sign in for you and put it two decimal places so now what you want to do is you want to be doing this in the rest of these cells okay but you don't have to do this individually so you don't have to go through every single one what you can do is if you click on the original one that you did as you can see you can see the actual formula in that top bar there and as you can see on this cell, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little green square. And if you notice, as when my cursor goes over it, the symbol changes from a thick plus sign to a little plus sign. Okay. So what you do is when you get you go over to the little to get the little plus, and then hold the left button down and just drag it all the way down to where you want the formula to be copied. And that will automatically copy that formula all the way down. 
Okay. Okay, so I want to show you now how to use the sort and the filter function within Excel. So for this, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. However, I'm going to show you a way that I feel is the most easiest and best way of doing it. Okay, so for this, we want, I'm going to show you how to, um, first of all, sort the profit and loss column, which is this column D. Um, in descending order so that means from highest to lowest okay so descending means from highest to lowest ascending means from lowest to highest okay now the way that we do this um, is that the best way is if you highlight all all of the titles for each of the columns as I've done here okay and the reason for that I'll explain in a moment and then what you need to do is under the home tab, which we'll have a moment, okay, on the far right hand side under the editing section, you can see a button here that says sort and filter. Okay, so if you click on that and then click on the filter button. I know we want to be sorting, but like I said, I'll explain why you would click the filter button. Okay, so if you click the filter button, it gives you these drop down arrows as you can see on each of the titles for each column so like we said we wanted to make the profit and loss um, going to descend in order so from highest to lowest so if you click under the profit and loss on that drop down arrows you can see at the top here it says sort smallest to largest largest to smallest okay so just click on the largest to smallest and sure enough, it changes all the data accordingly and puts them in order from largest to smallest as of what the profit and loss is. Okay. Now also, like I said, you can show now also doing the filter button. Okay. Now for this, you literally can select again any column. Um, but for this, we just want to show maybe on here the mini wheel so we can deselect them all and then select the mini wheel press ok and as you can see all it's done is now only showing the mini wheel data okay now to change it back just click again on the drop down arrow click select all and click ok now like i said the reason why i use the filter button rather than using the sort button is because you can do both the sort and the filter from these drop down arrows. So if you get the drop down arrows in, then you can do both functions. Okay. Okay, so the final function I'm going to show you on this uh, Excel uh, video is to show you how to use the conditional formatting function okay so for this i'm just going to show you basically how to identify certain data that is below zero okay on the profit and loss column okay so what you can do is you can highlight the data that's relevant so as you can see i've just highlighted the profit and loss data there and as you can see on the home tab under conditional formatting you can highlight cells, as it says there, highlight cells that are less than. Now, as you can see, there are different um, options that you can choose, greater than, less than, between, etc., etc. So, but for this one, we're just going to choose the less than. Okay. So all we want to do is, like I said, if it's less than zero, okay. So we put that in there, and we can then say what the cell should do if that is true okay so we can go into you said put a red border red text i'm going to have a custom format okay because what i want to do is actually put the cell and fill it red so we can go up to the top here under the fill tab and then click on the red as you can see there's a sample that's sending it red press ok and then click ok and as you can see it's automatically filled the cells red where the profit and loss 
is less than zero. So in other words, in the minus. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope that you have found this video helpful. Please, if you would like to see more, then subscribe to our channel and check our other videos out on our channel. You can also like us on Facebook at Lagat College and also follow us through our Twitter and Instagram pages. You can also check us out on our website, which is www.legatcollege.co.uk. We can also download our prospectus. Please put your comments down below of anything, uh, other resources that you would like to see or any future videos that you would like to see. Thank you.